wants us to do the things that he he did or he does right by the power of the holy spirit that's one thing that we see and he wants us to go further and I, i don't know how that is even possible but you see the heart of heart of the father and the heart of the lord and he's saying you know the ones who follow me the ones who are my disciples i i just you know i want them to do more and uh, he's so secure in who he is and he's saying you know i i just want them to do more more than the greater works i want them to do the greater works and of course we do it by the power of the spirit and the lord is involved in it which means that he does it but the fact is that he's so secure that you know that we finite beings you know compared to him who's infinite is deity and he's saying you know greater works you know i don't mind you doing the works i don't mind you doing the greater works but uh, you know i lo- really desire that you do the greater works right so uh, just wanted to us to look at that and uh, you know it, when we interact with people uh, or when we give leadership to the teams um you know are we so secure that um, the ones whom we are leading the ones whom we are you know probably nurturing um we really want them do we really want them to go beyond us you know uh, when it comes to <clears throat> maybe uh, family ties or you know our children uh, you know maybe in in such cases we might say okay you know i i really want my son to do well you know maybe study more than i ever did uh, and or my daughter to you know i go and accomplish things that uh, i i just dreamt and i just thought it was never possible i'd like my children to do well uh, you know it's 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 probably natural to think on those lines but what about you know your colleagues or um people whom you're nurturing or mentoring and uh, those who are <clears throat> in your teams you know how do you you know do you want them to go you know uh, be like you in terms of skill competence abilities and go further because that's that's really the heart of god right that's what we see in this verse that is is very absolutely comfortable empowering us to do the greater works right so so let's just pray and and ask the lord lord you know uh, i just want that heart i just want that that mindset you know let this mind be in you which was in christ jesus what we see in philippians 2 that he he didn't you know he just took on the form of a bond servant um, and he laid aside the majesty and walked on the earth right so let's pray father we we just want to thank you lord for this um, that this new month that you've given us this new day um that you've given us lord and uh, even as we draw near to your presence lord we we commit ourselves lord um into your mighty hands god and uh, and also invite a greater work of your holy spirit in our spirit uh, in our hearts in our lives in our minds lord and uh, and we ask oh god that um, Lord let this mind be in us that was in you that is in you God and uh, let this heart be in us Lord which is in you uh, that a heart of compassion and uh, the heart that of integrity and truth holiness and uh, and also God a heart that says go further uh, yes Lord the works that you do the greater works lord you want us to do that god by the power of your spirit and uh, lord i pray for those those of us who are in leadership and uh, who are leading teams professionally and in, in terms of ministry lord we pray um, lord even lord we are, even as we lead churches and fellowships lord we pray that uh, uh, you will have this you will enable us to have this heart father god that the people that we raise up father god um that the people that we enable to discover their call and so on people whom we um nourish lord by your strength god um i pray that we'll have this heart that we'll be so secure in you that lord that we'll have this heart that they will rise up and go beyond us and do great things for the sake of your kingdom uh for the cause of the kingdom 
Yes, Master, we give you all the praise and glory at this time, even as we commit ourselves into your mighty hands. In Jesus' master's name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Okay. Uh, yeah, welcome those who joined uh, a little later. Okay, so we've, we've been looking at, um, you know, people relating to people, a very important part of leadership. You know, um, and we've been looking at... Uh, um, the whole aspect of trust, you know, how can we build trust? How can we build mutual trust? And uh, we looked at uh, John C. Maxwell's video uh, last class. I think we looked at the first three aspects. Um, and uh, and we saw that um, how uh, we we need to... Um, uh, other, I think we looked at the bedrock principle, the situation principle, and so on. Okay, so now... Um, uh, just wanted to touch upon two things. Um, you know, one thing that would really help us to build trust, uh, and you know, also generally relating to people is uh, is to is to see how approachable we are. You know, what are the things that uh, we are doing to to make ourselves, you know, to communicate the message that we are approachable to people, right? so that people can, you know, people can approach us. Or we, you know, we give them the permission to come to us with the difficult things. You know, they, it's it's not only when uh, we've, then they've done the right thing, or you know, you as a leader, I mean, they want to uh, share that and probably, you know, share the accomplishment, but also to be able to share their failures. You know, do we give them the permission and do, do we create the uh, right environment so that people can approach us freely and and talk to us um, uh, and to be able to share that you know so so that does not happen automatically but that is something that we need to do intentionally okay so uh, let me just share the notes and while we look at these few things okay right so so this is what uh, John C. Maxwell calls as the approachability principle. Okay, so um, well, the, we we looked at, of course, Philippians two five and the Lord Jesus, how he made himself, uh, he humbled himself and became like us. You know, he became like us in his humanness to relate to us. The God of glory uh, came, found himself, or became man. And uh, in appearance, he was as man, and uh, to relate to us, to share with us, and to take upon himself, um, you know, whatever was separating us, sin, the curse of sin, the consequence of sin, uh, which which he took upon himself on the cross. Okay, so uh, the, the the one of the things that we need to see is. Um, uh, you know, how approachable am I, right? So uh, the first thing is, of course, uh, oh, okay, even before we go that, go there, you know, how comfortable are you with yourself, right? Uh, when it comes to dealing with people, meeting with people, how comfortable are we with ourselves? Right? Are we at ease with ourselves? Or are we at peace with ourselves, right? If you are constantly edgy, meaning uh, you know and uh, in, in a sense of unrest um, and um, moody and unrest unpredictable uh, then people find it difficult to open up to relate right but um, on the other hand you know if we would look at ourselves and and, and you know think through these things uh, then we would make ourselves uh, approachable Right. On the other hand, if we would be at ease, which would make the others feel e at ease and comfortable, then then we would, you know, we would be able to uh, uh, open up, and it's like opening a door for people to come into the room. Right, as long as the door is closed, you can say you can say all the right things. You know, come, you can you know, feel free to share, feel free to. You know, come with your problems, uh, difficult thing. But the, but the thing is, hey, I see that the door is closed. How can I? You know, um, but when we make ourselves 
and, and the other person comfortable. It's like opening the door so that person can walk in and say, okay, you know, here's someone with whom I can, I, I feel at ease. Okay. Um, so you're not intimidating, you know, and uh, you're not putting down, you're not critical, but you're making yourself feel at ease. Okay. So the first thing to do is to, you know, to exhibit personal warmth in the sense, um, are you caring? Are you, you know, do you have a smile on your face? Or are you, you know, uh, you know, uh, very serious all the time? And uh, not not really responsive, not really responding, right? So so that's uh, that's a question. You know, am I exhibiting a personal warmth? You know, am I being friendly? Okay. Um, so you can probably think about those times or you know those moments when you met someone and you felt immediately at ease with that person. You felt immediately at ease. You're you probably were meeting that person for the first time, or maybe for the, you know, maybe for the second time, first time. But you felt immediately. You felt comfortable, right? You you felt like, okay, here's someone whom I can, uh, whom I can open up and, you know. So what is it that you noticed about that person? You know, probably that person was warm and friendly, right? That person, uh, you know, related to you in a friendly, friendly manner, whether, whether it was the words that that person spoke, uh, whether it was, uh, you know, uh, the way they looked at you, you know, their expressions, you know, I'm not talking about the way they were, you know, dressed up or whatever, but, but the, their expression, the facial expression, uh, all that, you know, uh, helped you to really feel comfortable with that person and open up, right? So drawing from that, you know, can we do the same thing with ourselves, right? Um, I remember this was at, uh, at one of the, I think one of the church lunches, um, like we have this lunch for where the people come and meet with the pastor. So I, you know, so people had gathered there and we have what is called a VIP banquet. So I remember many years back when we, when we had one, uh, recently we had one also, but I'm talking about 2019, 2018, 19. So when we had one of those uh, gatherings and people came and I noticed one person was very aggressive, you know, uh, in, in the, in the gathering, like when it came to games, when it came to, there was some game being played and this person was shouting out, you know, Hey, don't do that. And this, and, um, so I was just wondering, you know, uh, it's, it's, it's as if that person was trying to establish his dominance, you know, in that group saying, okay, um, this is how I am, uh, or I, I am in charge or, you know, I am a leader, and uh, I mean, it, it was it wasn't a you know something that really warranted that kind of a thing. It was a simple game, and and, and but this person was um, while the other person was giving some instructions, he was kind of shooting that person down. And so, you know, so so those are some things that um, we can avoid, right? We don't have to do that. And maybe by nature, if we are doing that, or maybe uh, you know, without our knowing, we are doing that, then we can change. And obviously we can change. And if we are, if, if we are, you know, used to like intimidating people, you know, if you're used to asking uncomfortable questions, you know, I'm, I'm sure there's a, there's a time for that in the sense, uh, there's a place for that. Uh, maybe, uh, you know, maybe it's, a, it's, it's something that you, uh, that you're trying to solve and, and then you need to ask some uncomfortable questions to people and to get at the root of the matter, maybe there's a problem that, uh, and that person is involved and you have to ask some certain, you know, uncomfortable questions. And, but when we relate, generally, when we relate to people, you know, are you, are we doing that subconsciously, right? Uh, and putting people uh, on the defensive, right? Okay. So exhibit personal warmth. Um, if you're going to be, um, uh, relating to people just open the door you know it's like opening the door okay um, the second thing is to appreciate the differences of people 
okay now you see that uh, someone can be very very different from how we are in terms of their likes in terms of their preferences maybe it is uh, food maybe it is uh, music maybe it is uh, their you know their leisure their hobbies and uh, they can be very different from us so they don't have to be the same as us okay and uh, and so do we appreciate those differences do we respect those differences right now we can you know some of the differences of course when we talk about world views uh when when we when we talk about people who hold on to their you know world view and uh, and not come to the place of truth now when when it comes to moral absolutes we know you know we we, uh, we need to stand strong and there's nothing to appreciate about you know sin or uh, or something that is uh, you know blatantly openly uh, you know a falsehood or lie but we don't we can always you know uh, respect the person right we can respect the person we can detest the uh, the 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 sin or uh, the view viewpoint but we can respect the person okay so when we when we look when we say you know appreciating the differences of people it's about their personal likes it's about their you know personal choices and preferences and we're not talking about moral absolutes here right so we can appreciate the differences you know maybe you're a person uh, you know we're trying to teach our little nephew uh, i keep talking about him so he is like uh, i think once around the dinner table or uh, one, one meal we were just around and then and uh, and somebody was uh, i think uh, i was pouring ketchup on something you know like curd rice <laughs> so and eating i said i like you know i can eat anything with ketchup so he was like oh yuck and you no know, how can you eat that how yuck and his mother was trying to explain to me you no know, we don't say that you know we don't say that at the table and she was correcting him and saying you know it, it's okay you don't like it that's fine but the other person like it so we don't you know we don't uh, say that uh, so uh, you know s- simple things like that you know when we say differences though sometimes when it comes to let's say cuisine you know food uh, maybe it's something that you find very repulsive but it's there you know it's 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 a delicacy in some part of the world so well you look at the difference you appreciate it you know maybe in terms of personality right personality how can a person be so uh, i mean so disorganized well what to, what is there to appreciate about it right we you know that um, well it's not really going well you know it's not going working out for that person it's because of that yes but even in that i'm sure you can appreciate the spontaneity of it you can uh, you know uh, you're not you know you're not putting your approval and affirming that behavior but at least you can you know appreciate so that will help us to relate to people better okay uh, appreciating the differences of people the third thing is to maintain an even temperament meaning uh you know i we used to have this boss uh when i think this was the last assignment that i had uh when i worked for um, for a corporate um uh, for for a for a company and this was in sales and we i was reporting to the regional manager regional sales manager and and so the first thing that we would do is uh, you know check check with the front office and you know, how's the mood you know how's his mood because sometimes uh, he will walk in very moody is is Uh, he's had a bad start and uh, he's shouting on the phone he's had a couple of you know bad phone calls and so he's shouting and so that's not the time to say you know can you reduce my target or you know i haven't done uh, the thing that you asked me to do well that's that's the time to just quietly stay in office and go out so we'll we used to check you know how's the mood so you know if a person is uh, having a great mood one day a bad mood by afternoon and and a terrible mood by sundown you know it's it's very difficult to to build mutual trust right it's very busy, very difficult to relate right um it's like walking on eggshells you, know? you don't know when the person will explode you don't know when that mind will explode right um uh, what will trigger Uh, an uproar so let's say if you are like that 
if you are going to be like that, something will just, you know, you're going to explode. You're not going to be consistent with your temperament. Then that's going to affect your relationship professionally, you know, ministry wise, um, it's going to affect. So the thing is to, to build ourselves, you know, in terms of character, in terms of our personality, um, to build ourselves, to be consistent, right? Sometimes it means that, uh, well, it, it's difficult, but you just, uh, you just go with it. You know, it doesn't mean that you'd have to be fake, right? It doesn't mean that you have to be, um, you know, you have to put on a face and not be real, but you know, you're, you've grown beyond that. It's just that, you know, you've, you're persevering beyond that saying, okay, there's a work that needs to be done. And I know that I cannot take it out on these people, right? Whether it's family, whether it's colleagues, uh, well, I will deal with it, you know, to have that inner strength to say, okay, I will deal with it. These are things, you know, personal things that I need to deal with, but here are things that, you know, need to be done in terms of ministry, in terms of leading the team professionally. Um, so don't let that affect, right? Um, so develop consistency in in the mood, you know, not have mood swings through the day, okay? So that will also enable us to be approachable, okay? Um, the fourth thing is to be sensitive towards people's feelings. Now, we can, we can do this well, or we can err on this side also, to be sensitive, right? to people to people's feelings you know the the words that we speak the jokes that we crack um the things that we say you know is it hurting them right um and um is it uh, uh, is it something the jokes that we crack is it something that people can laugh with or you know is it something that people are going to laugh at that person right laugh with that person or laugh at that person big difference because you're one you're laughing at that person's expense and which that person may not enjoy and uh, maybe that's a sore thing sore point in that person's life it, maybe it's a uh, it even causes greater hurt right um so uh, so so how, how is it right uh, are you being sensitive so to be perceptive about this right and and also you know, we can we can err on this in the sense being too sensitive. Right? Uh, now, then that's a fine line, okay. But um, but we need to be sensitive to sensitive uh, to the extent that that people are not hurt, people are not uh, intentionally hurt or even unintentionally uh, with the words that we speak, with our behavior, with our you know. So so we. Uh, so we walk with the grace that God has given us and we speak with the grace and our words be edifying words. Okay, And even when it comes to correction, when it comes to pulling up people, we can do it with grace. You know, we can issue commands, issue instructions with grace, right? Um, and, uh, and we can do that, being sensitive to uh, other people's feelings. Okay, And... Uh, and this is a big one to be realistic about others weak others weakness as as well as your own okay um now when it comes to uh being approachable this would this would help you know it's not like we are going and you know putting all our negative stuff right there in front of people okay all our uh, all, all the all the things that we are dealing with all the negative stuff it's not like that but really to to you know to be strong enough to say that yes i know these are things that i'm working on right to be secure enough to to maybe say hey i need help in this area right these are things that i i i struggle with these are things that i i'm working at so you know would you help okay now being a leader we want to be seen as someone uh, who has all the answers. Obviously, we don't know all the answers. You want to be see seen as someone who who has superhuman strength. You know, we know that's not possible. We want to be seen as someone who has all the wisdom and all the knowledge and be the be expert in every field. Well, that's not possible. Right? That is why, you know, good leaders surround themselves with people who who, who are good at their things. 
like so so if if someone is not good at uh, certain areas they surround themselves with people who are good at that specific thing maybe it is uh, you know something to do with the particular um, you know uh, skill right uh, and uh, and the person who's not good at it the leader who's not good at it would use that uh, skill right uh, will surround themselves with person who have that skill so um, so when it comes to weakness you know to be to be realistic about it you know not to say not to complain and say oh i'm i'm not, i'm never good at it i'm not good at it i'm never going to be good at it but to say that yes i understand that that's not my strong point right that's not my strong point but i'm working at it i'm working to improve that right to be honest about it now a person who would uh, who would you know uh, who would actually hear that you know uh, from another person would say okay here's a person who who's authentic who's real okay who um who's real who, who does not you know who does not mind talking about who's not hiding behind a facade of uh, you know things hiding their weakness but they're being real and they're strong right strong about it so so that's something that would immediately i would say okay you know he's a real he's a real deal right he's uh, he's fine he, he knows that that's a that's a pain point but still uh he, since he's working at it or she's working at it they're not afraid to uh, you know own up to it okay um the second the, the other the last one is also similar similar in nature um to be authentic to be real enough to forgive to ask for forgiveness and to extend forgiveness okay um i think i shared this with uh, uh with another class with uh, i think some of the subject but you know this happened uh, when uh, i think pastor ashish actually was uh, preaching on a sunday and he he spoke uh, about the person in the congregation um and uh, which you know uh, on a particular sunday and uh, which seemed out of place so uh, he quickly realized that and uh, but uh, i think it was the following sunday you know when because he he made that statement in front of the church he he apologized to that person in front of the church right um, and uh, and in the congregation there was a there was a person who had uh, uh, from a theological college reputed theological college here in bangalore and uh, he was this was the last sunday here uh, in bangalore and he was going back to his hometown uh, so he was part of that service and he saw this whole thing and um, he went back to his hometown and he and he wrote an email saying you know in that one class in that one service i i learned more than what i learned in my theological college about love about forgiveness um so he he, he was so about you know about humility love and forgiveness he was so impacted by that right um and so you know the thing to to forgive and to ask for forgiveness to extend forgiveness and to also you know receive ask for forgiveness uh, to be real about it right so that would make us approachable okay so um you just want to take some time okay now it's uh, 10:33 take some time to to do the small exercise okay where you you know i'm just putting you into random groups but um so you know you know some of us i know uh, maybe struggle with language okay maybe you know uh, you're better at typing or you're better at uh, texting now uh, in your groups i don't know if you can actually text one another but if you can you can do that but but i just want you to you know share uh, a few things okay so this is an exercise on approachability so um, you're just going to share what you like Okay, some we're going to talk some, you know, talk about some real, uh, um, you know, light topics. So, okay, what food do you like? Okay, explain to them, talk to them, right? So, what is the, what is the objective? Okay, you're you're going to you know talk about something about yourself, and uh, you know you're not being closed. You're opening up. Okay, you can talk about something that you dislike. Okay, it can be, uh, you know, it can be something that irritates you. right something uh, that that you dislike uh, you know uh, around you you know it can be anything okay so uh, let me just put that here okay uh, what you like this again i'm just leaving it open it can be food it can be sport it can be music uh, a kind of uh, music 
you know and be something informative for the person oh really okay so what do you dislike or it can be something that um, you know some irritates you um you dislike what irritates you i'm just putting it there it doesn't make grammatic sense but i just put it there okay then um just talk about okay that those are two things okay then just mention what is your strength okay so this would be i think this would be easy what is your strength okay, what is your strong point um and this again you know we're not limiting ourselves to okay what is your strength you know spiritually what is your strength strength you know uh, it can be anything we talk about that then also talk about what is what you you feel is your you know it's your weakness okay that you need to work on is your weakness that you need to work on okay so four things okay so what what are we going to do we're just going to talk about this right okay so quickly mention so maybe each person can take about um, just two minutes okay somebody in your group just time it okay if it's if it's more than two minutes it's time for the other person to talk okay so you go on to the other person um and if you you know if if everybody's done and if you want to share more that's fine okay so what do you like what are your dislikes what what irritates you uh, what is your strength and uh, and what is it that uh, it's a weakness um, that you need to work on okay so simple simple things so don't worry um, you can just mention a simple word as i know one word answers also to all this what do you like okay i like biryani that's it okay so simple so you don't have to be you know i have to give a lengthy explanation no not really Okay, but i just want everybody to participate okay i'd like everybody to participate okay so let's do our breakout room um and we will take about maybe you know longer than last time i know last time was a little um thing so yeah so we'll uh, let's take say 10 minutes okay maybe i'll just put it as 12 minutes one second okay 12 minutes and uh, i'm just putting you all in groups okay, i'll see you after 12 minutes
Um, Salome, are you in, uh, I think you're in group two. Joined your group or you're still in the main call? Um, Abraham, have you joined your group? I think you're in breakout room five. Okay, sir. Um, and Elisha, I think you're in breakout room two. So if there's some prompt for you to join breakout room two on your screen, okay.
Uh, hi Abhishek, were you part of a group or you just joined? Yes. Oh, just joined. Uh, uh, yes, I'm part of a group. Okay, okay. And the group closed and you came in, okay. Yes, pastor. Okay. okay. Hey, welcome back. Uh, I hope that went well. We'll take a break, and once we come back, we'll we'll just discuss more. Okay. So we'll take a break. We'll uh, restart at eleven. Thank you. <laughs> 